We first met Oscar Blacksland last year. The four-year-old captured our hearts when he somehow survived after falling from a five-storey building. The fall broke both his legs, but it failed to break his remarkable spirit. The road to recovery has been long and hard, but Oscar's irrepressible personality has kept him going through the tough times, and now he's making the most of his cheeky smile. Laura Sparks reports. Give a big smile. And can you, do you like smiling? He looks like any other charming little four-year-old, but Oscar Blacksland has more to smile about than most. He's a walking miracle. I fell through the window. Did you? And I climbed up that window. And I... Like that? This was Oscar a year ago, explaining to Today Tonight how he fell out of the window of an apartment block plunging five storeys to land on the hard cement pavement below. Both legs were broken in three separate places. Doctors didn't expect him to last the night. They were totally amazed. They, they, couldn't, they couldn't believe that he'd fallen as far as he'd fallen. Uh, the ambulance officers were asking me three or four times, where did he fall from? So, and the, and the doctors were the same. And, and basically, they, they were prepared for Oscar to be gone the next morning. So they were preparing us for him not to, be, not to last. Do you want to walk on heels? Sure. 18 months down the track, the amazing miracle is something Oscar still vividly remembers. And I broke my bones. Did you really? Where did you break your bones? Inside. I broke two bones. One here, one here. He's just now starting to realise that he is a little bit different to other children, that he can't run as fast and sometimes when he's running along he, he will fall, his, one of his legs will give way. And do you want to stand back to back? Stand back to back. Oscar, you look at that wall. While his legs are still causing problems, Oscar is making up in other areas. His angelic smile and disarming nature make him the perfect child model. This is my funny nose. Oh, baby face. you got the cutest little baby face. There's not another one for take your place. Baby face. We thought that um, it would be good for him to do something you know, because he's a, a little limited you know, physically you know, with his legs. We thought it, it might be a good idea if he continued on doing that sort of work. It makes the job easier when Dad takes on the job oh, yeah. of photographer. Can I do that? Boy, we need lots more light, Oscar. Can I do that? Sure, Which button? That one, the top one. But it wasn't always this easy. Originally, Charlotte spent her days ferrying Oscar from doctor to physio to hydrotherapist. And it wasn't only the physical pain. Oscar was also suffering mentally. He had a... Um, problems where he'd get sort of flashbacks while he was sleeping, he'd get that sensation of falling. He'd just be screaming and screaming and, and clutching onto the bed saying, I'm falling, it's very, very bad, I'm falling, it's, it's really bad this time, I'm falling. What happens to Priscilla's slipper? I'm it out the window. You throw it out the window! It was counselling sessions like this one that helped cool the fear in Oscar. But while the mental scars have healed, the physical problems are still proving painful. About every six weeks, he'll have three or four days where he can't walk, where his, his legs are very, particularly his right leg's very sore and he can't walk. He can't connect, he doesn't connect that back to the accident. He just thinks it's something spontaneous. You, you push higher. OK, we'll go high. No, no you have to pull my T-shirt. Right, like this? Yeah. One, two, wee. Even today, Oscar is still amazing doctors with his recovery. They've even delayed an operation he was supposed to undergo at the end of the year. Miss me. <laughs> Although they don't think his x-rays look too good, uh, they are very, very happy with how Oscar is in himself and how much he is able to do despite having x-rays which show a lot of damage actually to his femur bones and growth plates. So they won't be doing any surgery until 
uh, he himself is, is f sort of physically disabled. Oh. Oh, yeah. I want to be a policeman and an actor and, and, and an ambulance officer. You're going to be a busy man. It was a miracle. It's just um, God intervening and it can't be explained any other way. How lucky do you feel? Very, very, very lucky. Um, I don't think lucky is the word though. Blessed. I feel very blessed. Oscar the Amazing. Laura Sparks reporting there and we'll be back with more after this break.